everyone you're welcome to my channel um, my name is Uma and I'm a medical laboratory scientist and I'll be introducing to you the equipment I use on a day to day basis feel free to subscribe like share with your friends and I promise you you will learn so much from this let's go to the business of the day today's topic um, is on the five components important components of the selector these are components that we talk about day to day uh, with our colleagues or the maintenance team. It's very important for us to know their functions. Over here on my right, we have the water compartment. The water compartment is made up of the treated water and the diluted waste. The diluted waste is where the, the analyzer deposits its waste, while the treated water is the, where the analyzer picks up treated water and runs the samples. And over here, another component is the sample reagent component. Just like the name is, we place both our sample and our reagent in this place. We place the reagent on those places with the position, in the position with the alphabet R. As you can see, this is R25, R24. Okay, we have something here. This is 29. This is a reagent. So we're going to place this on R29. Likewise, this is 30. We'll place it on R30. Whereas, we place the samples on those places without the R alphabet. This is our blank on position 1. This is the patient sample on position 2. This is called the pediatric cup. And this is the pediatric Holder. So this pediatric cup is used most importantly when your sample is little to enable the analyzer, the needle, to pick up the sample and run the investigation. And then depending on how many samples you want to run, you can put from position 2 up until position 25. That's all for the reagent sample compartment. So we're going to talk about the pipetto arm. The pipetal arm bears the needle. This pipetal arm acts as the pipette we use in our manual chemistry anal analyzer. For example, if you're using your spectrophotometer, the work that your micro pipette does is what the pipetal arm does. The system is controlled in such a way that the pipetal arm is instructed to pick certain volume of reagent or sample and then it runs and produces the result. So over here is another compartment called the cuvette rotor compartment. This is where the cuvette is. We're going to learn how to properly place our cuvette. You don't hold the cuvette rim. That's one of the precautionary measures. We hold it this way. So over here, you can see we have different arrows. Different arrow. However, this has an arrowhead, so we'll try to fit this arrowhead into this arrowhead, this one with arrowhead. So we'll put it in and then we'll move it, tilt it a little bit. Now it has entered into position. That will cover it and we'll place this properly and carefully. And that's all for the covert rotor. The final component is the lamp unit. The lamp unit is actually not visible. It's placed inside, it's inbuilt. And this lamp unit is very important because the lamp unit produces light that gets the passes through the filter and hits the cuvette where the reagent and the sample are mixed. And the analyzer measures the color produced. So it's very important that this lamp unit does not come in contact with water. Make sure that the water from the cuvette does not touch the lamp unit. That's all for now. This um, is very important for most of our lab, uh, medical laboratory scientists and um, IT students, or probably um, uh, medical laboratory students who are still in school who haven't used this before. I hope you learned something. And please feel free to subscribe in order to learn more. Thank you. Bye.